howdy and big welcome back to Yak City Gaming everybody as once more we're going to pick up our Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode here in MLB 15 the show. So last episode we kind of left off lots of uncertainty the bullpen struggling everyone struggling so why not take a step towards the solution we freed up some space in the budget and signed Bobby Parnell to a I forget the contract 2.8 million dollar one year contract. He's 77 overall. He's a closing pitcher. He'll take over for Howard Murakami, who will move to be a setup type pitcher. So here we go. Let's uh, get through until the Atlanta series and see how things go. And the Blue Jays have 40 men, 41 men on their roster. Well, I'm just going to auto-correct that. I don't really care. And auto fix pitching staff. There we go. And win loss, win loss. So not spectacular. We're 16 and 24. Aaron Sanchez is set to pitch. So here we go. We're gonna get right into game action. Might as well. Been a long time since we had a game, so never a bad idea to do such. And I think we should go with Devin Travis. Sure, why not? And the Atlanta Braves. Good to go. Here we go, guys. So Dalton Pompey is struggling. So is Jose Reyes. Micah Johnson is just tearing it up. And everyone else except Russell Martin is doing pretty good. Jose Bautista is having an early season struggle. He'll get over that for sure. Everyone else on the Atlanta Braves, though, is doing just phenomenal. Like, you look at all their leadoff man there. He's just tearing it up. And Micah Johnson has probably half the at-bats that their leadoff guy has. So here we go, Devin Travis in the top half of the second, gets his first at bat, he's going to face the pitcher, and he's going to get a high fastball, and he's going to try and drive it, and he's going to drive right into center field for a base hit. That's an easy one for Travis, and we're just going to sim to the next appearance as soon as we can. Michael Saunders up to the dish, fast forward to next appearance. And look at that, Travis on second now. Looks like the Blue Jays are keen to push her across their first run of the game. And their base is now loaded for Jose Reyes. So this is a big spot. Reyes could end up getting a little bit of a few more points on his batting average. Hey, he ends up bringing in Travis. That's good enough for a one nothing lead going into the top half of the fourth as Travis gets set to bat again. So Reyes gets an RBI. Travis fouls that pitch off into the stands. So off the knuckle curve, that's always a hard pitch to hit depending on who, which pitcher it is. Sometimes it's the easiest pitch to hit. You never know. That's an easy pitch to lay off there for ball number one. Devin Travis showing a little discipline on that high fastball. Going to take that ball right out of the zone. I don't even know what kind of pitch that was. That was a four seam. It looked to have really late movement on it. We need a clean pitch here. And no, Travis goes down swinging. That's my angle on the TV. But look at this. The ball gets away. And he's going to try and pick up an extra base. And he will. He's on on the strikeout and then error on the throw down to first. So Michael Saunders has a chance here. Drive in. Travis and that'll get him over to third so Russell Martin come on buddy you can push in the run from third no he cannot so can Jose Reyes get his second up second RBI he didn't get credited with an RBI never mind and he'll strike out so keep lowering that batting average for Mr. Jose Reyes here we go we need a good at bat from Travis here no, that'll be ball one, so laid off that one. Here comes another pitch. And this popped up on that probably knuckle curve again. And that'll be an out, so Devin Travis retired for technically the second time today. And the Blue Jays get another run, so here we go. Travis batting with Dalton Pompey on third base. In the top half of the seventh. Pitch in. That'll be a ball one. Okay, so Devin, Devin Travis batting 263, 
eight home runs, 16 RBIs. Can it be 17? Fouls that pitch off. He's late on it. One and one the count. Blue Jays are actually winning this one, so as long as the bullpen, bullpen doesn't pull, blow it, we should be good. This fouled off. That's late again on the slider that time. Here we go. Need to be able to get something to drive here. And strikes out on the changeup way too early. So Devin Travis, no discipline there. That could cost them. Okay, so bottom half of the eighth. Travis at second base needs to get this out. Cannot let the runner get up to second to tie the game potentially. He's going to take the force at second and that will end the inning. That's good. Kenny Valenti in to pinch hit. Bobby Parnell in to close down the game. He needs one more out. Could get a save. Let's see here. Comes the pitch. Nice bounce. Travis fires over to first. And Bobby Parnell gets the save. And the Blue Jays get a 2-1 victory over the Atlanta Braves in their first game of this series. Aaron Sanchez goes seven strong, only allowing the one earned run. So a beautiful pitching performance by Sanchez. And that's what we need to see out of our pitchers going forward. Huge. And the Blue Jays had ten hits compared to the Braves' three, all coming off Sanchez. So not too, too bad at all. Training and scouting. Dustin Guy completed his infielder's assignment. He's ready for a new one. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Can we view the report on that? How do we view reports? Prospect info. Okay. Call the report. Starting pitcher. Let's see here. Where is he? Jack Jones. That's who we're looking for. And looks like he has potential to be 88 overall. Not as much as we'd thought. So... Still a very valuable starting pitcher in all right. So we'll take a look at the lineups. Micah Johnson, 309, 247, 227. Bautista really needs to get going. Incarnacion's just been hitting up the storm. Travis, 261. Martin, 231. Jose Reyes, only 213. And Dalton Pompey, 222. And Michael Saunders, 266. Hold up. And then there is Danny Valencia batting 233. So can't complain too much. There we go, guys. So I think that'll end this episode of the Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode. As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to subscribe if you're new. As always, so long from Yak City.